My son was disappointed with this picture he took of some food in a Russian restaurant. So we're going to try to change the contrast and lightness some to, to get a better, um, to pull out some of the details. So first we'll go and we'll just try the, the colors, brightness, and contrast as the easiest, most obvious change. But as you see, just changing the brightness doesn't help much. And changing the contrast and the brightness together helps a little, but it's still pretty, pretty weak. Um, a better approach is usually to, uh, let's turn that off, a better approach is to try changing with levels, especially when you have a dark, underexposed or overexposed uh, picture, actually. Change the levels, and then wherever there's, you see there's a lot on the right that we can change, we'll, we'll adjust that and try to get something better. And this is a much better contrast. It still doesn't bring out the colors uh, and details the way I'd like. So we're going to use something called the colors the, the Retinix tool, which is about at the bottom of the colors menu. Uh, and if you look at that, then, then you can enhance the contrast using this. It, it, it evens out the, the light um, and does some really nice things. It has three levels, uniform, low, and high. And they're, they're good for different purposes. Low won't really work here, but the high looks, looks pretty warm. So let's try uniform first. And, and within that, the one you're most likely to need to change is dynamic. That'll make a lot of change and, and really just works differently for different images. So let's get it up to some place where it looks about right for what we have here. And we'll take a look at what that does. And that brings out a lot more details. It brings out things like the forks over on the side, which you barely notice, but also the colors. Um, and it evens out the light a lot brings out some strange colors on the granite underneath. So let's try also with the Retinex with the high, since that looked kind of good. And this too looks good. We can switch back and forth to see which we prefer. I think the high looks better. We can also look back and forth at the contrast here. Um, we could even blend them together. But anyway, that's how you use the Retinix tool to make a better contrast. Thank you.